Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on generating terms and summation using spreadsheet on a Casio FX991EX. Now you are going to need spreadsheet on your calculator to be able to follow along with this video. I'm doing this on a Casio Classwiz FX991EX. You just need to check that your calculator has the spreadsheet facility. What we are going to do for the series here is write out every term in the series and then we're going to find out the value of the sum. We're going to be using spreadsheet in this video but there is an alternative method to do this. Check out the previous video where we use table mode and the sigma feature on the classwiz in order to be able to do a very similar question. So from the menu we need to select 8 and that spreadsheet and we have it displayed here. And we're going to start off with cell A1 there. We are going to have to list the term numbers. So first, second, third. So then a number from 1 to, well, our series goes up to 10. So we need a list from 1 to 10. Now you can just go down and input the numbers 1 to 10 if you feel that is best or the quickest. I'm going to show you how to do that using the formula and it will give us a little bit of extra practice at using the formulas in the spreadsheet mode. Now we need to start off by inputting one in the first cell here, A1, one, and then on the second cell, A2, we're going to input a formula that's going to populate column A with our numbers one to 10. So from here it is option and one fill formula. And then our formula, we are going to write, well, we're going to start off by referencing our first cell there, A1, so it's alpha and A1, and then we're going to add one. It's going to increase by one each time. And then we need to select the range for which this formula is going to populate those cells. So it's A2, and then we're going to change the last cell to A10. So from A2 to A10, press equals for that, and then equals again to confirm. And then if we scroll down column A here, we can see that has populated that with the numbers one to 10. So let's scroll back up to the top of the next column, cell B1. This is where we're going to generate the terms of our sequence. And again, we're going to use the formula feature in order to be able to do this. So in cell B1, it's option one fill formula. And the formula is going to be, well, we can see that we've got the nth term of the series here, 6R minus four. Uh, we're going to write six, but instead of R, what we're going to do is reference the very first cell that we had on there, A1. So term one, A1, and this will obviously change as it goes down. For row two, it will reference A2. Row three, it will reference A3 and so on. So it's A1 minus four. And then we want that from range B1 start of our formula all the way down to B10. We've got 10 terms in this series. Equals and then equals again to confirm. And you can see here that column B has been populated with the terms in our series all the way down to the 10th term, 56 there. Uh, now we want to stay on the cell just below our series there, B11 in this case. We're going to put the sum of our series here and we're literally going to just add up all of the values that are listed in column B. Now let's access the sum feature. So it's option once again and scroll down this time it's on page four. We can see here the sum feature is option four and then we've got a set of brackets. We need to define the range for which we want to sum the values. Well our first value was in cell B1 so it's alpha and B1. Now to separate the start and end cell, we need a colon, a colon here. So it's alpha and then, well, it's the integration button. You can see there's a red colon there, alpha and then colon. And then we want to define our final cell, which is B10. Close the brackets or parentheses and then press equals. And you can see here that we have the sum of the series, 290. So there we go, how we can use spreadsheet to generate the terms of a series and also then to find the sum of the terms in the series. Don't forget to check out the video 
on the alternative method to generating terms and finding the sum, which is using table mode and the sigma summation feature in calculate mode. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.